Today on Toy Shoes, who really is the fastest man alive? Let's talk toys. Welcome back everyone, Toy Shoes here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look courtesy of my friends over at McFarland Toys. And today, we are totally checking out two of their brand new DC Multiverse animated offerings, specifically Superman the Animated Series is Superman and it's a black suit variant. And yes, this is being billed as Superman the Animated Series. However, this never showed up in Superman the Animated Series. Here's the barcode as well. If you want to go ahead and screen grab it, if anything, this kind of harkens back to what they did with Superman Doomsday when they did the very first DC animated movie way back when, when they kind of launched that whole thing and Bruce Timm was behind it. I think that... Justice Lord Superman probably would have been a better choice, but perhaps they can't do Justice League. Maybe it's only Superman the Animated Series. Or heck, I mean, even Superman Beyond would have been a better choice, I think. But, uh, you know, the whole cape and all that kind of... It's a weird choice. We'll look at it in just a second. But we do have the Flash, a very animated Flash. And he looks pretty good. I gotta give it to him. On that, the side of the box specifically states him as Superman, the animated series is Flash, which is pretty cool because I liked his introductory episode way back when. Here's the barcode as well. And yes, this would be specifically based off the episode Speed Demons, by which Superman and the Flash have a race around the world for charity and things go awry because the weather wizard gets involved. And this version of the Flash is supposed to be Wally West. That It's the same Wally West that we see later in Justice League Unlimited. He was a little bit more cocky kind of starting off. Also, a bit of a costume change here and there. More of a thicker black circle on his chest with the lightning bolts. But yeah, this specific figure kind of has, we'll say, the coloring and maybe more of the design features of Superman the Animated Series. But also really kind of incorporates a lot of the Michael Rosenbaum flash from Justice League Unlimited, JLU, Justice League. So we all know how this is going to go. Anyways, sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice, hot, animated cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new McFarlane Toys' DC Multiverse, Superman the Animated Series, the Black Suit Variant, and the Flash. And here are both the figures taken out of the packaging. And... Each of them come with extra hands, which is nice to see. Superman comes with an accessory. Flash comes with an accessory. But if we're talking accessories, it's kind of like eh, the bare minimum, to be honest with you. Because we've seen this bent steel girder before with the original Superman the Animated Series figure. You also get a pair of trigger gun hands, which... Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. Black Multiverse Stand. And yeah, basically you're getting a take on the Death of Superman, Return of Superman sort of deal with the solar suit. And I mean, for what it is, it's okay. But if you're applying it to Superman the Animated Series, it really doesn't make a whole lot of sense. And in that sense, I mean, there's really no point to creating this figure when you could have done... A ton of different variants from Superman the Animated Series that would have made sense. But you can get him into the classic Superman flying pose. I like the original red and blue one. I thought that was a good offering, and I still do. But in terms of just having this one be a figure on your shelf, unless you're a big, huge fan of the way this thing looks, honestly, I would say it's a solid pass on this one. With the Flash, however, I'm pleased to say... I'm actually really happy with this guy. He comes with some lightning bolt effects we've seen with other flashes. He gets a pair of hands, open hand. He also has a trigger holding hand. I know, go figure. He comes with a black multiverse stand. And I like the coloring of this flash. And it very much is, we'll say Superman the Animated Series, but it's missing like the black circle around his chest. So really, it's more Justice League, Justice League Unlimited flash if we're being honest however there's the, the reds are kind of a little bit more superman the animated series it's got a little smirk that you would say jail you you know what i mean it's kind of all over the place the head doesn't want to move at all like at all doesn't want to move up doesn't want to move side to side so yeah that's kind of weak right 
He can pop his arms up and down, left and right, because he has some butterfly joints. Now, the cuts of this figure, where the joints are, is not attractive. That's where the animated stuff kind of falters when you have too many cuts. That's why the old Kenner stuff really worked. He's got actually an ab crunch, and he, yeah, much like his head, he doesn't spin at the waist for whatever reason. Kick out, kick down, kick left, double jointed knees, and he's got the ankle with some toe articulation as well. And what's actually kind of cool is that with a lot of these animated offerings, they've been a pain in the butt to stand up on his own. For whatever reason, this guy works really nicely. He's got some weird things going on with his butterfly joints though. They keep wanting to pop out. You gotta put them in just to kind of have it be more flush within the shoulders. But if you are looking in terms of the blue and reds to this silver and black, it's the same exact Superman, same exact figure. It's just repainted. The boots are a little bit different on him. And then you have these two, which go together because both really don't make any sense in terms of existing or being variants. Because in all honesty, it's basically just here's the figure and let's put a cool redeco on him. The blue Batman actually makes a little bit more sense. This one, eh, it's all over the place. Now, I know a lot of people say, hey, it's the Batman multiverse, right? Well, there's been quite a few Flash figures released as well, and this is just yet another one. So, with all the Flashes encompassing comic books, animated, video games, do you honestly have to say that overall this is the new favorite Flash of the group? And when you put him up next to the animated Batman, which I do like this animated Batman, I got my reasons, you can go watch the old video, but that's cool. In terms of the height with... John Stewart and I mean they were pals in Justice League Justice League Unlimited the Green Lantern John Stewart here while he's got a great head sculpt to him is all over the place in design so <laughs> he's unusually big he's a lot bigger than Flash it just doesn't work however if you just had this animated Superman and you just had this animated Flash I mean they would go together Pretty much, I'd see that as being a good size, right? High fives, Supes, and then Supes totally misses because Flash is a jerk. But when you have all the Justice League, Justice League Unlimited, animated Bruce, Tim, Paul Dini universe figures together, I think Supes, Flash, and Batman work. Green Lantern, unfortunately, is the odd man out. And yes, to reiterate, to make it full on Superman the Animated Series, he did need that black ring around his lightning bolt symbol on his chest but that's gonna wrap it up for my look at the brand new mcfarland toys dc multiverse animated offerings i would say flash is a jump in the right direction right because some of the animated offerings have been eh, all over the place in that sense yes they're saying it's speed demons animated series flash it's mostly justice league unlimited because of just the artistic elements to the character design. So I actually do like the Flash. I think he's a great looking Flash. And I think if you're into the whole animated offerings from the 90s, 2000s, and kind of going forward these days, I think you'll be happy with him. The hands, you know, the give or take, but at least he has some ones that will make sense. And you can put the little lightning bolt on his running feet. With Superman, that's just a, a total pass, unless you're really into that look or you're trying to complete the entire line. That's really the only reason I would ever suggest picking this one up. It's just not really anything. It's just its own thing. It's just a repaint of Superman the Animated Series. So I'm curious to know what you guys think though. Will you be grabbing either of these? Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything animated offerings. And thank you again to McFarland Toys for sending this out for the purposes of giving you this early look. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember the animated series and all its incarnations, yes, even Static Shock and the Zeta Project, is still some of the best animated superhero anything to date. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Let's high hopes for Batman Cape Crusader.